Hey guys, what is going on? Nick here with GearNut. And today, I wanted to show you guys some of the latest little Kydex creations that I've been making. This right here is a, I don't know, it's a black Kydex, but I distressed it. So, I threw on some, I think it was like tan camouflage paint that you could pick up at any home improvement store. And I threw that on there and then I took some 400 grit sandpaper and I sanded it down and I don't know if the camera is really gonna pick this up or not but it it looks like leather in real life <laughs> it just it's unique it's kind of a distressed look and it's really cool you know so on this edge profile you could see that that is actual black kydex and on the inside you gotta make sure you don't get any paint on the inside so if you do you have to clean it out and you have to clean out all your little eyelets and stuff like that. But I really do like how this turned out. It's pretty sweet. So that is one of my recent ones that I've done. Um, this right here is the Leatherman Bit Kit sheath that I did. And I used some of this rubber coated nylon webbing for straps. You can also use it to attach to your backpacks and stuff like that and it's just a friction fit just uh, the two cards just fit in here like so and I really do like it it's really nice and slim it's got all these milled slots so you could attach it to almost anything with Chicago screws if you wanted and it just looks good it fits real sleek to your body um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell these or not but <laughs> just some fun little custom kydex builds I did this right here is an Altoids fire kit that I did. So it's got a, a mini Bic lighter on there. It's got a ferro rod. And then it's got your full-size Altoids sheath in there. So, But it's also got a, a thumb ramp down here at the bottom. You can inject it out. And it's got slots all the way around it. So you can attach this to some really big knife sheaths. Uh, you can lash it to your pack. You can do a lot of stuff. You can put a tech lock on there and use it as a tech lock carrier. So that was a bit of a nightmare to build. So it's got the black carbon fiber on that and this just black kydex. <laughs> got a couple mini Bic uh, sheaths up here just waiting for another project. So pretty cool. And another one of these mini Bic fire kits. And this one has... A, I don't know, what is that? That's a 9mm casing from one of my range trips. So, picked it up and I stuck it on and it works perfect as a nice little handle. So, pretty cool. But, I um, haven't done a Kydex video in a little while, so I wanted to give you guys a little update. I am still kind of building here and there with it. Not really taking orders at this time um, due to I have the lack of time I have. I mean... Uh, wife and a kids and a house and a job and shooting videos and stuff like that so but here and there I will take a job here or there but uh, I don't know we'll see we'll see if I can find some free time and take some orders I know there's people out there wanting to get some stuff made but just gotta find the time for it so but this is a little kydex update I'm still doing it I'm just not doing as much so if you guys have been lucky enough to get something one of my creations Kind of hang on to it and cherish it because I don't know how many more that I will be able to make. So that's what I got. I hope you enjoyed this Kydex video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please hit me up in the comment section below. And that is all that I got. I'll see you guys in the next video.